Well, welcome everybody to the Dando Drilling Team. Uh, we've got Helen Smith with me today and um, Dave Morgan. Say hi, everyone. Hi. So, hey. um, all together, we've, there's five of us on the five of us on the drilling team. Um, we've just brought obviously three of us down today. So I'm just going to talk um, just to give you a, a brief um, introduction to the rig, really, um, so you can understand how it works. And um, I just, yeah, well, you'll see the, how it works obviously when we get going. But um, the basic idea is that um, this section here is the is a barrel. So this is the the part that collects the core. On the end of the barrel is this cutting shoe, which is driven into the ground by the um, percussion head here. So this is just a, a weight that's picked up by a chain and is just dropped repeatedly on the top of this barrel, which drives it into the ground. Um, inside here we've got a catcher, which obviously collects the material. Um, when you extract the barrel, that closes up and cuts off the material and um, stops it dropping out of the, the barrel. And inside here we've got a plastic liner so the core will come out of the plastic liner and then we put a cap on each end and obviously take it back to BGS once we've finished. And so mark it up with, label it with its depth as well Steve. Oh yes, of course, yes. <laughs> Thorough labelling. Yeah. Um, today we're going to be using um, some casing which is slightly larger than the barrel so the barrel sits inside there and both of those are driven into the ground at the same time. Um, we're using casing because under here we know that we've got um, sand and gravel deposits which are liable to collapse as soon as we take the barrel back out. So the casing stays in the ground and we just extract the barrel out of the middle. And we'll also reach water level won't we? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, presumably, yeah. And then um, it's, it's basically just a matter of screwing another metre of casing on and driving that into the ground and uh, just repeating the process really. But we have got a rotary, um, a rotary mast which um, operates either a diamond cutter, so that's like a, the barrel but with um, diamond teeth on the end that cuts um, solid rock. Or we've also got um, what's called a hollow stem auger which is about that diameter, that it's a bit like a, a screw that just screws into the ground and collects the core from the middle of the, the, um, the auger. There's different methods that we can use to extract uh, material. Yeah. 